Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. And this video, we are going to learn how in Node.js we can work with the file system on our computer. And to do so, we have to bring in a native module in this file. And the name of the module is FS. So let's do that. Const FS is equal to require FS. Since this is a native module, you just need to provide in the name of it. Now I have created in these two variables. The path is basically saving the path of this particular folder and file path is saving the path of this file. So in this file, I just have uh, these two words, hello world. Next concept is synchronous, which is a blocking code and asynchronous, which is a non-blocking code. So let's understand that. Let's say you have written in these two lines, line one and line two. So if line one is synchronous, then line two would get executed only after line one is being finished. However, if line one is asynchronous, then line two can be executed immediately. Means it is not going to wait for line one to be finished. Now in FS module, there are a lot of methods that are available, but we are only going to focus on these five methods. But if you want to explore more, then all you have to do is you just have to Google Node.js file system and you would find this page. And on this page, you will see there are a lot of different methods available. Now we are first going to write the synchronous code. Then we are going to move to the asynchronous version of it. Now for the synchronous version of reading method, we just have to say fs.readfilesync. Okay, and let us look at the signature of this by help of this intelligence. You can say we have to provide in path, which is mandatory, and then you have this another argument which is options, and in that you can pass in this object like encoding and flag. Now, if you are only passing in the encoding, you can also pass in the second argument in the form of a string, and the return type of this method is buffer. So let's provide in first just the first argument, and that is file path, and let us save the output of that method into a variable which is content now all i need to do is i need to console that out so i say console.log content save it open my integrated terminal and to execute this file we have to say node app.js let us hit enter so we get this outcome which is a buffer hard for us to read so to read that we just have to say utf8 and if you execute this now you can read this now you can pass it like this if you're just passing the encoding like i mentioned or you can also pass it like this so you just say utf8 hit save run it again and there you see the outcome now if i just make a change to this all right so this is uh, the incorrect path i would say this file does not exist and if i run this method i'll get this exception okay which is always bad so either i go for try and catch or i just first check whether the file exists and if it exists then i read that now for that we have a method which is fs dot exist sync okay and then this is a synchronous method and th the return type of this is a boolean and it accepts a file path so that serves our purpose we just say fs.existing pass in the file path and this is going to return as a boolean so we can wrap that inside our if block so we say if and the condition would be this so if this thing exists if the outcome is true then i perform this particular operation else i simply say that the file does not exist and for that I use a string literal syntax and I just use the file path variable and I say not found okay so now this file does not exist yet so if I just run this again I just get this does not exist okay uh, if I change it to a valid name or valid file path and execute that then I get my content okay now I'm going to use the same code again and again, right? And going to make the required modification. So for write file, and all I say is fs dot write file, okay? And of course, we have to work with the write file sync. So this is our method. Now, in case of writing to a file, rather than looking out for the file path, I look out for this directory, okay? Because this directory should exist because I want to place my file inside that directory. So I'm going to check for the directory exists or not. So 
I can use the same method and this is going to again give me the boolean value. So now I have fs.write file saying let's look at the signature of it. So you have to provide in the file path, then you have to provide in the data. These are the mandatory things. Then you can also pass in the options and we are going to see the option thing in a while. So let me just provide in the dir path. Okay. And let me also provide in the name of the file. So the name of the file is write file, let's say dot txt. And the data that I want to provide to that is let's say QA box. Okay, and this time we say if I provide in the wrong directory, then it is going to tell me the directory path is not found. Okay, and so let us comment this out and save it, execute our code. So when I run this, I should be able to see one more file in here with the name write file.txt. Let's hit enter. Expand this. So we have this write file, the txt, and it contains this. Now, uh, if you run this method again, and let us change the value, and let us make it test, save it, or run it again. The thing is, it is going to overwrite this file. Okay, and we have also seen in the first example that the file wasn't there, so it created that file. Okay, so if file does not exist, it's going to create it. If file exists, it is going to overwrite the, the data. Now I can uh, fix that part. I say, okay, I just want to append data to that, right? So then I need to pass in the uh, third thing, and I just have to pass in flag, and I just have to pass in a in here. A stands for append. Okay. Now I want to append data to this, so I will say in here QA box, and let me also use the new line corrector, so like that. And if I just save it and run that again, so let us open the file and we see test and QA box. Okay, but if you want to create a separate method altogether for append, so you can also do that. So let us just copy this whole thing again and let us get rid of this line and we say fs dot append file sync like that and the argument list is pretty much the same okay so you can just copy this whole thing okay till this point because for append method the by default flag is a for write it was w so we just do it like this and now i just add in let's say let's test okay so we're pretty good let me save it and we don't require this now so i'm commenting that out and let us execute this okay we go to our file and we see let's text okay great next one is rename file so i want to just rename this file write file to something else okay so again um, i'm going to check for so this time i just grab this basically because i want to check uh, the file that i'm about i'm about to rename exists or not so yes so we have to check that this file path exists and i just get rid of all this okay and let me check so yeah uh, file path is hello world.txt so we say fs dot rename sync okay and in here we have to provide in the old path and the new path and the return type is void so what are we doing so we are updating the name of this file write file to test.txt okay so let me just run this okay so you see the name is being changed data is still there because we just renamed the file all right so yes next is delete the file and to delete the file of course we have to first check that the file exists okay so i'm just grabbing this code and grabbing that get rid of all this and we just say fs dot link sync okay and in here you just provide in the name of the file right what is the name of the file now the name of the file is this okay so i change it in here i change it in here and i just say file not found in the else block okay so we're just going to delete this test.txt okay so let me just execute this so we get file not found 
and it also deleted that okay so sorry uh, this file not deleted uh, is coming from here all right i should have uh, that okay so why not let's uh, create the file again so we just say test.txt and just enter something in here save it close that and let us rerun this file again okay so now you see uh, that message was really coming from here okay so we are done with all these things okay synchronous ways are uh, synchronous uh, methods are executed now we have to work with the asynchronous version okay and i'm not going to now uh, take this if part into consideration so i just say fs dot now read file is the method right see the sync word is not here and uh, what do we have in here so we have this path same thing again we have the option okay and then we have this callback that's the another argument that is being added uh, this particular callback contains uh, two arguments again uh, the first one is error and the second one is data all right so you could see that clearly so again it's it's very simple so we just have to say uh, we are going to read the file path and it has to be utf8 okay and then i have to pass in the callback so this is how i pass in the callback okay using fat arrow syntax and in here what do we have i have error and i have data so the thing is once this operation is complete means once we are able to read the file okay so we are going to supply that to this particular callback okay and if there's an error then also we are able to you know supply that error so now in here inside the body of this callback we're going to say if there is any error it's okay we are just going to say log that out to the console so basically the message of it okay just the message of it and then if i say else uh, means there is no error so we just say log out the content of the file okay like that so first uh, provide in the name such that the file does not exist so this file does not exist so if i just execute this code i'm going to receive this particular error message okay from this particular line and if i just change it to the valid one and execute this again so now i see hello world all right okay inside the callback i can do anything with that i can manipulate this data and write this data into another file and so on now let us look at the write file so for that we have fs dot write file and what do we have in here so again on all these uh, asynchronous version you will have this this callback for sure okay because once the operation is done what do you want to do so that logic you're going to write inside the callback we have fs dot write file and first thing is of course we have to provide in the name of the file so which is going to be this in our case so i'm just going to copy that second one is the data that you want to write so we just say test one two three right and then uh, you can also pass in the, the flag if you want to do that right if you want to append to that so uh, for append i'll you know use the, the append method Right, so you know that part as well so this also exists and last one is the callback so you just pass in this callback and this callback has one argument which is error so in here we just say if error okay so if there is an error so again so we're going to do same thing console.log and we're going to say error dot uh, message okay and else we say data is saved So we just say data is saved like that and let me just comment this out okay so what is going to now happen is we are going to create a file write file.txt under this folder and it should contain this text and if there would be any error then we are going to see that error message so let's start with that error message and i just say file repo one okay and let me just run it Okay, so we get this that no such directory exists so i hope i mean i can skip uh, these uh, negative cases right and I'll just explain you now the, the actual logic so we get this message data is saved so see now when the file is created we are also uh, you know with the help of this callback we are seeing this message okay which is great 
so yes file write is also done now you want to just append to it all right so again uh, you're going to say fs dot append file right so you have to write a asynchronous version so again we have the same parameters we have file name and we have data and, and the same thing so basically you can just uh, uh, copy the stuff so i just changed this text to uh, let's say so let me also add a new line connector and i change it to this because we are appending data okay so currently let's see what do we have in here test one two three right so we say append file and we pass in all these things and data is let's say updated okay so i'm just saving that and i'm going to run it so we get data is updated let us go back to the file and yes it is really updated all right so next one is we just have to delete the file and to delete the file again we're going to say fs dot okay so we have this unlink and we just have to do this right path and then we have this callback path is our this one only okay and then we get the call back and I guess we get the error thing in here okay and we just say if error so let me just copy this code like that uncomment this so if error we get we display that there is an error and else we say file is deleted so if I just run this okay so that that file is deleted now if you have to work with uh, images right so in this particular case if you could see this is my file I, I just want to copy that file inside this folder okay so for that again you're going to read file like this okay you're going to pass in the mandatory parameter and then you're going to use because this function is going to return you the buffer and now you are going to use this buffer class and this from method and you're going to pass in this encoding right now you have got access to image and then you just say fs.write files right and you just write that file in here so it's that simple so if i just save it and run this again so you will see a copy.png is being created in here so if you see uh, this is your copy this is your super dot png and then this is your copy dot png okay so this is how you can work with images next one is you know if you just want to uh, make a generic function for read and write files right so you don't want to uh, you know repeat this code again and again and also you want to give it a promise like looking feel something like this okay so you just want to create a method and just you know to read the file just provide the file part and the encoding and then you want to use this then and catch okay and how can you do that so it's it's very simple so you know this is the same logic that we have been writing this far and all you do is you create a function you, you know just take out those hard-coded values and you just say return me promise and this promise this thing accepts a callback uh, and the callback has these two arguments resolve and reject and you just paste in here for the code it's pretty much the same and you know if there is an error earlier we were just logging that out so there's an error you just use this method to reject, reject and pass in this error dot message and you know if it reads successfully then you just resolve it okay so now if we just uh, let me just comment this out and we are just going to read the same uh, hello world file now with this approach and if i just execute this so we again get hello back yes now same way you have the write file in here also we are doing the same so this is how you can make reusable functions and let us run this as well so i'm just going to comment the recording of this uh, read function and if we execute that we'll again see write file.txt under this file repo so i'm just saving that okay, i'll just run this again so my data is saved we have this file so my data okay right so i hope you like that thank you so much